It's sad that modern science cannot bring back your dead puppy. But wait, maybe he's not dead yet. According to the parallel universe or many world hypothesis proposed by Hugh Everett in 1954, such a thing might be possible. So my goal is to present a more direct intuition of this theory without as much complicated analysis. Let's consider in a game, you're in a room and there are four doors in front of you. Now only one of the doors will lead you to the right way out. The others will be a dead end. After choosing the first correct door, the next room has three such doors, like before. Again, after choosing the correct door, there are two more doors, and finally, you have escaped trap. But wait, what if you had chosen the wrong door? The hypothesis says that every time you are up to a decision, the universe splits up to accommodate the number of possible outcomes. So when you ought to decide among the first four doors, the universe simply splits into four, in each of which you travel through a corresponding door. Similarly, for the next three doors, it splits up to three, and for the last two, it again splits into two. So all of the possible events happen, but this version of you seem to travel only through one of the many possible available timelines. So we can plot our entire life on the basis of this theory, from birth to all the choices we came across. Now as bizarre and confusing as this sounds, is this hypothesis even helpful? Well, yes, it helps to solve many of paradoxes, such as the grandfather paradox. According to the grandfather paradox, you are an evil man. And you go back in time in your time machine and kill your grandfather. So since your grandfather is dead, you should not have existed and you can't kill him. And lots of similar confusion. So what happens right then? Well, nothing. It seems that the dead man was not your grandfather at all as you have shifted to an alternate timeline of one of such many parallel universes. Does it do any help? Hmm. What about the Schrodinger's cat experiment, where a particle, in this case a cat, is in superposition of two states, both dead and alive, at once, until it interacts with the outside world. Say we send a photon to know what's going inside. But the problem is how the cat or the particle goes from being a combination of two states at once to being in just one state. Now again the timeline of history splits and both happen, dead or alive, on different alternate branches. But is this hypothesis even true? Well, many recent findings like the mysterious blob in CMB or cosmic microwave background support the theory, but still there aren't any concrete proof. Now enough of theories, let's see some of the weird implications of this interpretation. First, we live in a multiverse. Since the entire colony of all the parallel universes ever created come under one single multiverse. Second, you are many and your individuality and distinctness isn't true at all. Since our life is an exponentially expanding set of instances that are branching off from moment to moment. Third, no more time travel paradoxes such as the grandfather paradox as there are separate alternate timelines. And also you are immortal, well kind of. Thanks to the quantum suicide experiment, which deserves an explanation for itself. Now, since you understand the many world interpretation or MWI, has an interesting question. Since your decisions and choices determine the journey of your life, do you think that you dominate the course of the universe or is it pure randomness?